Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. Here we have a good problem which tests the ideas of electrostatics and oscillations. So let's try and solve this problem. A ring of radius capital R having a uniformly distributed charge Q is fixed in a horizontal plane as shown in the figure. A bead of mass m under unknown charge stays in equilibrium at such point on the vertical axis of the ring that if it is displaced slightly up or down, it undergoes oscillatory motion. Find charge on the bead. Intensity of gravitational field is g. Your students, this is the question. So let's try and analyze this. So as you are all aware of this idea that if we have a charge distribution on this so-called ring, let's say I'm assuming that uniform charge distribution on this charged ring like this, then we can predict at some distance. Let me highlight this. If this is the center O from this point to the location of the charged bead, okay, so whatever the charge possessed by the bead, let me call it as small q okay where q is unknown charge okay this we are interested in finding unknown charge fine so at this point let me take some x naught distance above this ring from the point o to the point where it is at equilibrium right so let me say that point is p at point p the so-called bead is in equilibrium then it is OP distance, right? That is X naught, okay? Now, I hope you're all familiar with this idea that electric field at the point P, right? That is given by K times Q X naught by X naught squared plus R squared whole power three by two. So this is kind of standard derivation. Most of you know it, probably you would have derived it. Okay, so I'm just using it directly. And if you don't know it, please put that in the comment section. I will attach a relevant file for it. Okay, so electric field at that point will be given by this relation. And as you're all aware that this is a positive charged ring. So field would be upwards, field would be upwards. And since we expect this charge to be in equilibrium, so we're, we know that the so-called charge should be positive charged. This should be positively charged. So that the repulsion will keep this charge particle moving, getting a force upwards and its own weight, mg, will be acting downwards. If mg and the repulsive force, if they get balanced out, we have equilibrium. Meaning at equilibrium, we have this kind of uh, scenario that mg would be acting downwards and Q times of electric field will be acting upwards and acceleration is zero and the body is at rest. Okay, so we say it is in static equilibrium. Okay, so we got the condition that mg must be equal to Q times of E. Anyways, we have E from the first equation. We can put that in the second equation so that we can think of like the equation which we have at equilibrium, correct? So let me go to the next slide and write this. We have mg being equal to q times of electric field. Electric field is k times q times x naught divided by x naught squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2. See our intention here is to find the value of q. Okay. But x naught we don't know. Okay. Now what else? So let me rearrange this and uh, rewrite like this q capital k capital q and uh, by mg times of x naught can be written as x naught squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2 just arrangement and squaring on both the side we can write like this mg the whole squared x naught squared being equal to x naught squared plus r squared whole power 3 then further if we want we can even arrange 
this like this see we have x naught per 6 here and uh, 1 plus r squared by x naught squared whole power 3 just rearrangement nothing much here divide by x naught squared and finally we have x naught per 4 into 1 plus r squared plus x naught squared times 3 which is equal to q k capital q by mg just rearrangement nothing physics in it okay so we got this equation and we are rearranging it and writing like this okay both are exactly same thing yeah so let me call this as equation three this is equation three now uh there are two unknowns and we need to solve for q so definitely we cannot solve for q with this information because there are two unknowns and one equation correct then what is the way out then uh, we need to think about oscillations the given information here is we have mg and this so-called electrostatic repulsion are balancing out such that if i slightly displace downwards the acceleration must be upwards for that the electrostatic repulsion should be more than mg only then it will have acceleration upwards so this should occur if i slightly displace it downwards suppose if i displace the particle upwards we have uh, electric field to be should be reducing if electric field reduces then mg will dominate then we'll have acceleration downwards then we can expect this to be undergoing oscillations so this is a requirement for us to expect oscillation okay now we'll think of the scenario here as we know that if there is a ring carrying charge there is a ring carrying charge okay so as you're all very much familiar that exactly at the center electric field is zero because of the charge ring okay as we go to really really far away distances like meaning infinite distance even here electric field is zero meaning we know that at the center electric field is zero at the infinite distance field is zero meaning as we go along this line meaning if you keep on walking on the axis of the so-called ring at one point we do encounter electric field to be a maximum because here it is zero here it is zero but we know that here on the axis it is non-zero meaning somewhere it should be maximum correct now our interest is to find this maximum if we find this maximum then we have pretty uh, good idea about oscillations okay suppose let's say if we expect the so-called maximum occurs at some x dash value from the center okay then if a particle is in equilibrium at so-called x dash if mg and the repulsive force if it is balancing at this location then if you slightly disturb it downwards at this point then mg will be acting and force would be something else and this force would be less than mg because we know that the maximum electric field occurs at this location if you slightly push it downwards definitely field will reduce because we know here as you push it downwards field will be reduced when compared to its maximum value this idea we know correct so meaning definitely we cannot expect a charged particle to be at equilibrium at emax and anywhere below that also it is not possible because if you randomly choose any other location then mg would be acting downwards and a field if it is in equilibrium here if if we expect this repulsive force is balancing this then as you push it downwards we know that field becomes even smaller so it will go down accelerate down it won't go upwards so meaning with this analysis we are very much sure that the so called x naught meaning equilibrium position must and should be greater than 
this x dash which is corresponding to maximum field zone okay this x dash correspond to maximum electric field location okay now meaning uh, to get a bound or the value on x naught indirectly we are going to search for x dash first then x naught must be greater than x dash and i hope uh, finding emax meaning location where mag sorry finding electric field to be maximum at some location we know this by using calculus approach so let's do that we have electric field given by k capital q x by x squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2 and we want this function to be maximum for that i would expect de by dx to be zero for extreme values and we know here anyways it is going to be maximum so we will do a little bit of calculus so uh, x squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2 denominator first then differentiating numerator minus numerator as it is differentiating denominator whole power 3 by 2 minus 1 we have 3 by 2 here and differentiation of uh, this term using chain rule it is 2x plus 0 and we are done with the derivative here x squared plus r squared this should be 3 so I have just used denominator into differentiation of numerator minus numerator which is x into differentiating the denominator using chain rule whole thing divided by denominator square okay so if this whole thing if we equate it to zero whatever the value we'll get for x right that corresponding to the x dash value because that is a location for maximum electric field okay so let's simplify this we have k capital q here i'm taking x squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2 common and we have uh, x squared plus r squared whole cube in the denominator here we have 1 minus see just simplification 2 and 2 getting cancelled out and we have 3x squared by x squared plus r squared we have because this is 3 by 2 minus 1 right so I'm just rearranging so you can just pause and verify this math okay once we are done with this we know that this so-called x right it is a finite value so if it is finite value then this term cannot give us zero so since x is finite value this cannot give zero so x squared plus r squared cannot become zero and since for the same reason this x squared plus r squared whole power 3 by 2 is not shooting up to infinity and all so we are expecting a finite value for x so even that cannot be infinity so only way this can be zero by having this condition that 3x square should be equal to x squared plus r squared okay solving for x here x turns out to be plus or minus r by root 2 okay so meaning according to our logic this way from the center as we go upwards r by root 2 or downwards r by root 2 the field will be maximum so in our story this uh, x dash is going to be r by root 2 now using this logic in our previous equation 3 we can write now that so called x naught must be greater than x dash right for oscillation to occur because if we ensure now that if there is a ring here this is the location where this is a location where we have maximum electric field now at if you take any point such that this at this point we know that if repulsive force is balanced by mg then if you slightly displace downwards then force will be greater than mg so it will have acceleration upwards suppose if you displace upwards then mg will be greater than force so that acceleration will be downwards so this oscillation are possible only when x naught is greater than x dash okay 
so we already got x dash as r by root 2 and x naught is this value and using our equation number 3 from 3 we have this now we know that if i substitute x naught is equal to r by root 2 that is not a possible solution because we don't want the equilibrium to be occurring at exactly emax location it should be above that right so using that condition if i substitute the value of r by root 2 whole power 4 and here 1 plus in place of x naught i'm substituting this if i substitute that value r by root 2 whole squared power 3 then this quantity we want this quantity to be greater than this one so under this condition we have to just solve for q right so this becomes r power 4 and this becomes just 4 this root and that is getting squared we have r squared r squared getting cancelled out so we have root 2 in the numerator and that has to be squared so 1 plus 2 3 cube 3 cube so we have uh, 27 here then small q capital k capital q by mg whole squared solving for q so which implies that which implies that small q being less than say we have to just rearrange them nothing much and solve so we have mg here and small capital k capital q here and r squared by 2 and this can be written as actually 9 times of 3 right that squared 3 root 3 we have uh, 4 pi epsilon naught mg by q r squared by 2 3 root 3 so we have uh, this is our expected solution dear students i hope you understood the approach if you have any doubts please feel free to put that in the comment section thank you so much